Hello everyone. Uh, so today's topic is the VLOOKUP function using WPS uh, spreadsheet. So VLOOKUP is a very handy function um, using Excel or spreadsheet in, in VPS uh, to look up and retrieve your data from a specific column in a table. And uh, VLOOKUP supports uh, approximate and exact matching of your expressions. Uh, using the wildcards uh, for partial matches also so the word V uh, stands actually for vertical uh, that means uh, you have to give your lookup value uh, in the first column of the table and the lookup columns uh, to the right meaning um, if you start from your lookup value that should be in the first place uh, so the VLOOKUP search uh, starts always uh, from left to right uh, you can see on the screen I have uh, just used a table for the demonstration purposes uh, for uh, four columns uh, having an employer ID and then first name last name of the employees and in the end an annual salary so we will use three different examples first example is to using the first name and we will find the last name using the lookup function so you can see from the example on the left side that the second column is the first name i have entered a name for example tom and then now we will enter the vlookup formula in the formula bar so you just use this uh, equal sign and then write the name of the formula and then the description is coming automatically so what is actually the syntax so it is asking now uh, for you to give the lookup value so we will select the first name cell and then we put a comma and then it's asking for the table array for us the table array will be starting from the column two uh, towards and till column four so that will be our table array that will uh, contain then three uh, arrays uh, of uh, columns so it will be uh, first name last name and salary so we will be having then uh, three columns uh, for this uh, argument so once we selected this it is showing uh, on the left with a with a red uh, area or a red region and then after that we will go uh, to the column index so and then you can see the spreadsheet uh, is offering you with three different options column c d or e so we will just stick with a column d here so that is in number it's a three column and then uh, after that we will go for exact or true or approximate match so we will say false false means that it will be an exact match and once you execute your formula uh, you see it's uh, giving us the last name that is an Alex um, if you change a name for example um, the first name is Alex and then we can see from our data so the last name which is uh, like uh, James so this function or this example works uh, pretty fine uh, then the second example is about uh, using again the VLOOK function to find the salary based on the employee ID. That is, a user can enter an ID, employee ID, and if he's interested in finding annual salary particular of the particular person, so you just give an, an uh, employee ID which is on the most left side, so that is actually in uh, our first column in our uh, data, and then we will use the same procedure as we used on the above example. With VLOOKUP, uh, we will define our uh, lookup uh, cell and then we will start with the array of tables or our range which we wanted to search. So we can easily choose uh, all the four columns, so starting from left to right. And then we will uh, now define the, the column index uh, number, which will be in our case, that will be now four because the salary column is the last one. So in this case, then uh, we will choose uh, the column or the index number four that will uh, match our uh, requirement. And now you, you can even opt for false or exact match. So we still stick with exact match. And we can see then based on our employee ID, we are getting the exact salary, annual salary of that particular person. Okay, so now we will move on to the third part. And um, the, the purpose of this example is to show you how you can generate or how sometimes you can get in an error and uh, spreadsheet will give you an error with, the, with, the, with not, not, not applicable or not a number or something like this error is coming. 
so i would like to demonstrate and produce this error what we will do is uh, we would like to find now for example an employee id uh, uh, based on a first name so if we give a first name so there is a trick here if you see we wanted to give the first name for example tom and we use the same syntax as we have done for the two uh, examples above to see if it really works in that case but as you know from the very beginning i told you that it always works from left to right you look up values it has to be on the very left on the left side that means it should be the left column and the lookup search starts from left to right so this will not work because the first name our lookup cell is on the right side of the uh, employee id which we wanted to now see or which we wanted to detect uh, uh, the proper employee id number so this will not work in actual if our first name could have been the first column and employee id could have been the second column then it could have been an uh, the simple job uh, for this function to work so remember that always uh, if you are looking for a particular value you it has to appear in the first column of the table yeah with lookup uh, all the with lookup columns or the lookup arrays it has to be on the right side of your lookup or of, of your lookup column okay so i think um, this uh, demonstration uh, will help you guys in whatever field in whatever area you are working on um, it's a very very uh, useful tool um, it's very good if you try to practice this and it's uh, uh, especially applicable to huge data or large data sets large uh, arrays where uh, doing a kind of a manual search is uh, some kind of a really a headache uh, sometimes we really had huge data sets um, in in even in marketing or in any other uh, areas like uh, if you are doing business management uh, or any technical areas if you i have to deal with these large tables or data sets so i hope uh, this video actually um, help you a lot and stay tuned for the next videos also so i'll be doing uh, some interesting videos with demonstration using wps uh, with other lookup functions and um, last but not the least so this uh, lookup function uh, equally applies also in uh, if you're using microsoft excel okay don't forget to like and give your feedback in the comment section so that's it from now Uh, stay tuned for the other new incoming videos and subscribe and like uh, the channel if you have not done it right now and take care